Just how did it feel for you to get going late there with those three straight three pointers in the fourth? It felt good, you know, just uh, take advantage of every opportunity I get, um, continue to trust myself and uh, try to do the best I can for this team. Nick Gallo with Thunder Broadcasting. George, just what did you like best about the, the way you all took a step forward and, and learned from the game on Friday night? It seemed like you all really made a lot of nice adjustments. I mean, we literally had the same game plan. Um, we just told the guys we had to play with more attitude, more effort, uh, and more togetherness. And I think, you know, every guy stepped up, brought their best out, and tried to just compete on every possession of the game. And like I told the guys in the locker room, when you compete every every second, you give your ch yourself a chance to win. Uh, we're not, you know, promised to win them all, uh, but we are promised to compete at a high level and, and do the best we can. Paris Lawson with OKCThunder.com. Yeah, George, one of the, the constants for this group this season has been the spark of that second unit. And they came in and gave you guys a big boost again tonight. You had a guy like Hami who was kind of all over the floor, able to make plays for you guys. How, how valuable is that for you guys to have a group that is so locked in, seems like every game? I mean, we have a great group of guys that, you know, maybe not starting, um, you know, you can go down the list from a guy like Jaime or a guy like uh, K. Rich, Justin Jackson, Poku, Teo. Uh, musky, you know, I can go down the list and, and name all the guys who can contribute at a high level. So uh, we expect them to come in and give us that that burst. And they've been doing a, a fine job, you know, since the start of the season coming in and uh, imposing their will. Um, Young Masuk with ESPN. Hey, um, I was wondering, uh, normally a four day trip in Los Angeles is something that um, teams would look forward to, but I was wondering because of the pandemic and how strict things were, what was this trip like for you as far as like um, compared to any other previous trip that you guys have taken to Los Angeles? What, what, what weren't you able to do that you might normally do in your routine? I mean, it's hard to, to say, you know, I'm not going to really try to comment on the pandemic, because every time I do, it gets taken out of context. So um, we're just grateful to play this game of basketball. Um, grateful for our help. Uh, and just, you know, worry about the game. That's it. Thank you. Back to Joe Masato. George, not necessarily specific to this game, but basically this whole season has been Shea's first chance to sort of lead a team. How, how have you just assess the job he's done and just playing with him this year. How have you seen him handle that role? I think he's doing a great job. Um, you know, he's continued to get better every day. Um, even after the games, he's still trying to figure out what can he have done better. Um, watching film, breaking down different things, when, when, when he can score, when he can be aggressive on, on that side defensively and also passing the ball and things like that. So. Um, he has high expectations for himself, and we have high expectations for him. And I think he's developing into a young, uh, great guard here in this league. Thanks. And just one more thing. Um, I don't know if you may have hurt your hand late in the game, but saw you talk to the trainers. Is everything okay there? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, well, Shay, wrap it up. Shay, Shay's coming. Shay, Shay's right here, the, the GOAT. Oh, my God. <laughs>